Okay, so today is Chulun Daf Tzadik Gimel. The um, the discussion today's Daf is going to be all about Nikur. Excellent. Yeah, we're going to get all the Nikur down, I think. You just find a video for us. Uh, <laughs> that's uh, I think in English it's called porging. It's called in English porging. I think. Yeah, so it's called porging it in. So in the Jewish Encyclopedia, they have it. They have everything in English. Because there's all like 15 steps of Nikur. Everything in English. It's interesting. Okay. So we'll start on the bottom of the side of base. Um, <coughs> Gufa, right? Gufa, Gufa, Amr Ab Sheishes, Amr Ab Asi. We discussed this. Uh, now we're going to discuss it. Chutin shebechelav asurin. You have different blood vessels that are in chelav. Um, in in the chelav itself, you have these different blood vessels or nerves, right? So then those are considered asur. In fact, uh, cells, there's blood vessels and nerves. No, I'm saying, yeah, it makes sense. I guess in the fat, meaning blood vessels that go through the fat. I mean, the capillaries, maybe it's called capillaries, I mean, the capillaries that... that they have to bring blood to everywhere. I guess there's... Yeah, that's the word. That's chutin asurin. But, ain't chayav alam. They're not the actual, real, integral part of, of chaylev. They're only drab on them. Because it's not fat. Right? Something's going through the fat. Okay. Um, Shebakulya asurin vein chayav alam. Also, the, the clays are also asur. Um... The threads going through them are also us, uh, also also, but it's not. You're not high of course on them. Okay, Leuven kulia, the white part of the kulia. Right on top of the kulia, there's this white, there's this white chelav. Rebbe um, Rebbe Chad Asar v'Chad Shem. One holds its mutter and one holds its asar. Rabba mimartitle. Rabba would just. Oh no, Rabba would would actually. Um, Go after it and dig after it and 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 um, and everyone everyone's gonna gonna agree that you have to remove the surface the surface of this um, white part that's in the ridge right there's like a ridge in in the kidney right so in between there's this, there's this white fat everyone agrees you have to take the the, the surface off that the only question is you have to go into the kulia and and root it out right so that's Rabbi's mimartetle Rabbiyachin mimartetle Rabbi just goimle he just scrapes it off. Um, okay, Amr Abaye. Abaye says, Kavosi der Abasi Mistavra makes sense like Abasi. Why? Amr Abba, Amr Abino, Amr Shmua. Chaylev she Abbasar Choyfe Oisoy Mutter. If you have Chaylev, that meat is covering it. Then it's Mutter. Why? Alma, we see that the way he learns the Pasuk of Alak Solim, one of the Chalavim that are also are Chalavim that are Alak Solim, right? So... Right. So Amr Achmana, that's what Hashem says, Alaksa, uh, that's what the Torah says, Alaksa, and not what's inside the Ksalm, not where the meat is hidden, but where the Chalav is hidden inside the meat. It's only the surface, only the surface fat, not, not what's, what's hidden inside. So Hachanami, by the Kloyes, She'ala Kloyes Amr Achmana, Veloshib is Soycha Kloyes. And therefore, it's not a problem. Um, Okay, and so Rashi goes into the discussion that, uh, that at, the, at the bottom of the uh, at the bottom of the um, no, another place in, in in terms of the ksalim, the flanks, right? The chelav on the flanks. Yes. So so the outer one is aser. I mean, oh, well, I guess this is considered the inner one, right? For, for us, it's the inner one. But when I guess when you when you when you take out the animal, you just put it on the table. This ends up being the outer one, and then these other lines, the streaks of, of yellow over here are fat, mm -hmm. right? Those are the inner fat. Uh, and those, th those are going to be mutter. Those, but, yeah. uh, those are, are mutter because it's embedded in the meat. But what's asr is the outer layer. Well, I guess over here it's the inner Over here in the cavity of the animal, it's the inner layer, right? Mm -hmm. And then also, if you see this like over here, mm -hmm. that, that part over there, that's where the, uh, the, the, the fat goes deeper and then goes 
into the into the meat, right? So that that's going to be also. Um, Rashi has a whole discussion regarding that bottom, the bottom piece. See that bottom arrow? Yes. So over there, it's not actually busser that's covering the fat. It's like this thick membrane. So the question is, is that considered a cover enough or not? Okay. So Rashi says that an Ashkenaz der Neig Lehetle and Heter, fine. Okay. We have a similar uh, statement from Shmuel. If you have feet, uh, fat that's under the flanks, it's usher. And as the, the previous one says, only if it's on top of the flanks, it's usher. If it's exposed, if it's something under the flanks, then it's then it's usher. So I'm Rabaye behema bechaya pruke mifrika. Um, behema, while it's alive, um, it, it um, when it moves around, the different parts of the animal, some of them dismantle from each other. Meaning, when we see it, you think it's under, right? You think you think right now after you saw, you see everything is together, everything is smashed together after the animal dies, and therefore you you think that um, that it's under the meat. I think what it's talking about is this part over here in the middle. See that? See that interesting? Shape of fat in the middle over here, right there, right. So, so um, while the what one animal's dead, so everything is smashed together. It looks just like chaylev within meat. And so the Gemara is saying, what do you mean? Didn't we say that if it's embedded in the meat, it's not exposed, so then it should be fine? Says the Gemara, no. The animal while it's alive is pruke mifrika, is um, it, it it jostles around and and this and and the top and bottom part get dislocated from each other. So therefore, really, it's not it's not fat. That's that's by nature exposed. It's it's embedded, it, 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 it embedded in the meat. It is by nature exposed, right? Fine. Um, and this again, the Gemara corroborates is the Amar Yechanan. Yechanan says, "I'm not lav tavchana. I'm not a butcher. The lav bar tavchana. I'm not the son of a butcher. But in here, no. But I know the hachi havo amri be midrasha. This is what they used to say in the midrasha." Behemoth while it's alive, you know, jostles around and it, and um pruke literally means dismantle, right? It, it, the, 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 this this what? Separate. Sep- right, it separates. During while while it's alive it separates. Okay, Amra Babar Mudam Shmuel. Khalev shall hemsas away sarkosis as surin vanush karis. Um the khalev that's on the hemsis. The hemsis and the basarkosis are the two parts of the stomach, right? The middle, the middle two <laughs> stomachs in the cow. Um, so if you have you have chelav on top of that, it's also vanush chorus. The zeu chelav she'ala kerev. The Torah talks about two separate types of of chelav. There's chelav hamechas esa kerev and chelav ala kerev. Chelav hamechas esa kerev is this picture here that they have. Chelav hamechas esa kerev is the bottom part. Right, and that's more of a sack. That's taka. That like the whole, the whole, st- all the stomachs are in it, and then on the top, that's chelav she'ala kerev, and that's and that's really on top of, um, that's on top of the hamsis and the besakoisis. Okay, so that that's what he's saying. He's saying v'zeu chelav she'ala kerev. When the Torah says chelav ala kerev, that's what he's talking about. That fat. Okay, so you have to remove it. Amar Rabbah Rabbi Yudam Shmuel, Hai Tarba de klibusta, aser. The fat of a klibusta is aser vanish kares. Uh, klibusta, Rashi explains, seems to be a um, near the tailbone. There's some fat that's on some. The, the, there's there's a part where the where the, the the vertebrae of the tail start, where the at the end of the spine there's like a little bone over there, and on top of that that's called the klibusta. Not right over here. Maybe that's the fat. Oh, maybe. Yeah, that's the fat. Oh, I would assume this is uh, the middle of the spine over here. They just cut off the hind, the hind legs. Yeah, that's right over there. Is that where the klibusta is? Oh, that's what it says, right at the beginning of the tailbone. Ah, that's the beginning of the tailbone already. Yeah. Ah. That's what it is. Okay, could be. We'll say there. No, because I wasn't sure when the Gemara talked about this case of, of, um, of Prukimifrica, when while it's alive, it's, it's, it's separated when, when it's dead. It's, it gets uh, put it gets put together. I'm not sure where where that is. I don't know at what point it is. I, that's why I thought that that place was good. Whatever. I'm not sure. Okay. okay. Um, right. But either way, the gabi the, the flanks. That's what the Gemara says that there's, there's the parts that the chelav is considered exposed, 
and therefore it's also and what, what, what what's covering it, what, what what's embedded in the buser is mutter. But there are parts that even though you think it's embedded in the buser, um, really while it's alive, was separate. Okay, fine. Either way, back to the klibusta. Um, yeah, so it's some by the tailbone. There's this little bone, and on top of it is chelav. And you have to remove anush karis v'zeu chelav she'alak salam. That's the chelav that's on top of the flanks. That the Torah says you're not gonna have this, um, right? Now also the the blood vessels that are in the four the four leg right the the yad of the animal the hand of the animal asur they're also asur why and this uh, um, um, we're gonna see Amr of Safra Moshe uh, he's like telling him Moshe right either either he's, either Moshe is a lesson shvua or Rashi over here says Moshe means he's trying he's calling him a Talmud Chacham like oh Moshe le mi Amr of Chavon leitechol this way not eat. Are you not allowed to eat um, meat? What, what do you mean? What are you telling me I can't eat this the chutin in the yad, the, the blood vessels in the yad? What are you talking about? I'm allowed to eat meat. I'm a rav, I'm a rav, Moshe, he tells him back, Moshe, mi amar achmona echoyel doma, the Torah say, you're allowed to eat blood? You can't eat blood. You're right, you can't, you're allowed to eat meat, you can't eat blood, and this is a problem of blood. Um, if you cut it and and um, and do melicha and salt it and to get the blood out, I feel like there and now sharp sharper than you can even even eat it without roasting. You can just cook it as long as you do melicha. So you're saying the issue over here is the dam in the chutin shemayad these blood vessels. Um, there's a lot of congealed blood in there and it's a problem. Okay. Amar Yehuda Mashmol, Reish Maya, Beamta Boigreira. The first ama. In the me'ayim, right, the the beginning of the me'ayim, beginning of the intestines, the first time in the, in the me'ayim, by gravy, you need a, you need to um, drag off the blood, you need to scrape off the uh, scrape off the fat. V'zeu chelav shaladakin, and that's the chelav. The Torah says it's, um, that's the chelav shaladakin. The machlokes tanoim we saw before <coughs> in elutrefus is about chelav shaladakin. Okay, so this is the chelav shaladakin that you have to remove. It's the first ama in the in the intestines after the stomach. Chutin also you have these different um, uh, strings in the ukets are asur. Now ukets either means tail. I saw some some explain means tail or or ukets is again the leg, the the yerach, you know the the thigh. Okay, um, and then and then he continues that is There are five. Um, strings, threads that are in the kafla. That's the that is, that's for sure. They're going to be the the flank, right? Um, the, the question is, is if it's one big statement or it's two separate things. Words, is it first of all chutin shabukets asurin? That's the first um, the first halacha. Second halacha hamisha chutin isu kafli, or it's really one one long thing that chutin bukets asurin, and these are the hamisha chutin that are in the kafla. Tlasa miyamina, three are to the right. And three are to the left. Tlasa miftali litre. Two on the left. Right. So the three on the right, miftali litre, each become two, two, two. Right. They all go to tray, tray. Um, and tray and the and the and the two on the left, miftali tlasa become tlasa tlasa become three, three. We have right math. Yes. Right. Um, Okay, so what's the nafkamina? Says the Gemara, "Di ishalif lehu ad de chamimi mishtalfi." That if um, that if you take it out while the animal is still warm, so you're able to just pull it out and everything comes out with it. But ve'ilay, but if not, ba'i chatuti basrai, then you have to um, you have to actually go uh, dig after it in, in the skin. Okay. Um. I guess I guess more is asking him, what's the nafkamina? I I have to take out all the all the blood. Right? I have to take off take out all these threads, right? So, um, blood vessels that you have to know when it's warmer. Right. It could be. I think I think actually these threads are not because of blood. These threads are fat. Threads of fat that you have to take out. That sort of sounds like the more is going to say later. Yeah. Um, either way, right? That's nafkamina. It's if it's still warm, you can take it out, and then you'll see you'll see the. The tree of uh, right, the the roots. You'll see the roots all come out. But if you if you don't see the roots come out, then you know that it's uh, you have to go digging after them. Fine. Amar Abayi v'itemer b'hudo chamisha chute havu. There are five different strings. 
different over here now it's different types of strings that are in the different types of threads in them. Plus a mishum tarba, five of them you have to remove because of uh, sorry three three of them you have to remove because of fat, train mishum dama, and two of them because of blood. The tachli of the the spleen with the kafli and the flanks with the kulisya and of the kidney, right? These three you have to remove mishum tarba, which because of fat. The other, the lua, the the hand and the jaw. Those the strings, and they have to be removed because um, because of blood. Shemdama. Says the Gemara, the mine nafkemino. What's the what's the nafkemino? Why do you have to tell me? It might say you have to remove it. What's the what's the difference? Hani the mishumdama. The the ones that are also because of dami mechatachlu. If you cut them open, umalachlu. And salted shaper dummy, then it's fine, you could eat in Hanach, that's what's called. The other ones are actually fat, so that's enough. You know, if it's fat, you can't do anything to be matter fat. Okay. Omar of Kanavi Tamar Behu, the Hamishu Kamri Hava, there are five membranes that you have to remove. And this is not a, it's not a thread, it's, it's something that's covering the entire piece. Plus a Mishum Tarba, again, three are because of fat, with Trey Mishum Dama, and two because there's so many blood vessels that are in the in the membrane, you just have to remove the whole thing. The Tachli with the Kafli with the Kolisa. Again, the spleen and the and the flanks and the kidneys. That membrane you have to remove mishum tarba. The bay, the mukra um, of the the bay are the testicles, and the mukra is the brain. Those also have membranes, and those you have to remove mishum dama. Okay, Rebbe Barashi Avak Akolifle Tachla Levi. He was he was. Um, um, Peeling away the the spleen for Levi, Raider of Huna Barchila, Hava Kagoim Le Meiloi. He only removed the top part, like uh, as at the top of the spleen. Um, I guess there's like a, it, it's not it's not the top. It's more they have that picture. They have a picture over there, maybe on the next next page, right here. Yeah, right over here. It's not so much the top. It's more on the one side where it becomes higher. It's thicker. Over there, the 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 fat is thicker. And that's where, that's where he removed. He removed it only at the top. Have a gun lay, a gun lay me lay. Amar lay. So he says, chois beit fei. Go 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 lower a little bit. Go down a little bit. Take also from the bottom part. Asa avu. His father came in. Ashkeche amar lay. Hachi amar avu. Avu hadi imach. This is what your the the father your mother said. Mishum the rav. Uman who is who is his grandfather? Yir mi bar abba. Lay asu tayt elash elash ala dad bilvad. Only what's on that part that protrudes like a nipple, up there like that. Yeah. Okay. Ini says the gemara. Amar rav omnuna. Didn't Rabbi Nun teach us Tana Krum Shal At Choyl Aser? The Ein Chayav in Olav. The 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 membrane that's on the spleen is Aser, and you're not Chayav on it. So the Gemara, which one was Rabbi Nun talking about? Echidam Ilu Mishal Al Dad. If he was talking about only on the Dad, only on the top part, so then Am I Ein Chayav in Olav? Why are you not Chayav on it? It sounds like uh, that the the Chayav on the Choyl is Aser because it's right next to the Chayav Al Akerev, so it's all connected. So therefore, that's why. But that that part is also midoraisa. So why in chayevin alav? Ela dekule must. When Amnuna says that you have to remove it, right? Even though it's not, uh, even though you're not chayev, must be because he means he means the rest of the the the, the tchoyl. So you see that you have to remove the whole thing. So why are you telling me you only have to remove the top? Amar le itani itani. You're right. If it says it says. Okay. Gufa says the gemara. Amar amar Amnuna. Tana krum um krum sheala tchoyl. Gufa amar Rav Hamnuna Tana. I guess right. Krum shall at choil also ve in chayavan olav. Krum shall gabi akulia also ve in chayavan olav. So the also it's the entire kulia. Um, the krum that's on the kulia it's also, but you're not chayav on it. So the gemara vatanya chayavan olav. I we have a brisa that says exactly the opposite that uh, that you are chayav by both of them. So the gemara choil at choil akasha. How can I get the dad? That's not going to get the dad. Like we said, kulia kulia not like akasha. Habe ilah habe tito. So it sounds like there's two membranes on the on the kidney. The the top one is taka gonna be um which the top the top one's chalev mamish. Um and the bottom one is <coughs> fine. Is 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 asmidarba. Okay. Bay Khashilta. Um this seems to be a case where the testicles of the animal were either slightly severed. Um, and the animal can't reproduce, or it, Rashi says they were embedded, they, they got they got stuck onto the animal's actual body. Instead of hanging, they got stuck onto the animal's body. Either way, it's some type of um, deformation that happens in the testicles. And the question is, um, 
whether it's considered Eber Min Achai or not. Rav Ami Ravasi, Chad Osa Vichad Shari. One holds his mother, one holds his also. Um, even though it's still alive. Even though, right, no, it's even though the animal is still is still alive and it's still attached even, but because it's just it's just stuck to it, but it's not really attached internally, so maybe we should call it Eber Min Achai. It's, it's really, it's an Eber that's, so so I think some say it's only Rabbanon, it's only atta- like Eber Min Achai Med Rabbanon, it's, 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 um, it's like Eber Min Duldal, Right, it's it's more of a drabanon, but either way, the shaila is is it considered um, removed, and it'll be like like aver menachai. Or no, it's still attached. So man also the one who holds also is midaleka baryon, because it doesn't get healthy again and they can't have kids. Hani aver menachai, you know, it's it's like it's removed. It's it's an aver that was removed from achai, so you can't eat it. Man the shari, the one who holds his mutter is midaleka masrachan, because it doesn't smell, it doesn't it doesn't decay, right? So obviously, hani chayusa yisbe, there's life in it still, so it's still attached, so it's not going to be also. The Idach on the other one says, no, you know why it doesn't decay? There's no, it's vacuum packed. There's no air, so it's not going to decay. Right? The, 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 the other one says the reason why, and really, right, he says the, it's really considered a lie. The reason why it doesn't become um, good again, it just has, it's weak, whatever. It lost its, it lost its, uh, its power. To reproduce, it's not going to get, get back to itself. It doesn't mean it's doesn't mean it's, it's removed. It doesn't mean it's considered aver min achai. Okay. He says they're mutter, but you shouldn't eat them. You shouldn't. I'll teach you tarsim mecha. You shouldn't like the minig. The minig of the place um, was not to eat it, and therefore, even though technically it's mutter, he said the minig is not. The more always brings I'll teach you tarsim mecha. Right as the as the minig uh, as the the uh, makar the source for the concept of minig. Right? Um, Omar Mar Bar of Ashi Hani Bey the Gadia, the testicles of a, of a goat. I think they say it's lav daf the goat. Um, but either way, the testicles Adlos and Yerim Shari until thirty days, um, you're allowed to eat them. As we'll see, the uh, Bloy Klipa without without having to um, peel it off. Right? We said you have to peel off the, the, the testicles because there's a membrane that's filled with blood vessels. Right? So if you remove if, um, on, before thirty days. Um, that the reproductive system isn't developed yet, so then you don't have you, the, the, um, you don't have to remove it. The well, after thirty days, e azron. If if the animal did have, if you find sperm in the testicle, so then it's aser. The lay azron, then it's shari. It's fine because then the vaita didn't start yet. The meaning uh, says the more no yet. How do you know if there's zara inside? E is If they're if they're red uh, streaks on the on the testicles and asir. Less Mishraikh Rasim, if there are no red streaks, then Shari and it's mutter, because you see that the, I guess the, 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 the didn't start working yet. If it didn't start working, then it's fine. Umti, Be'e, Umizriki. Three cases. You have Umti, um, that's the, that's, we'll see, it's, Umti usually means raw meat. Over here it sounds like it means, like Mar's going to say, it's very red, it's very bloody. Something something burst while the animal is alive, so there's a lot of blood. They Be'e, you have the testicles, we said, and Mizriki are, are chute um, atzavar uvridim that those are like the main the main arteries and, and, and that are in the neck that have a lot of blood. The, those are called like misriki, like like the, the misricos, the kalim and the base of English that hold the blood. Right, they're called misricos. Okay. So in this case, pligi bar of achav ravina b'chalat arakula. Rav Achav ravina argue b'chalat arakula. I'm sorry, pligi bar of achav ravina. Rav Achav ravina argue regarding these three. Things whether it's us or a mutter, we'll see. Well, the more is going to expand. And then parenthetically, the Gemara adds: "Bechol Tzor Kula, Ravina Lekula, Ravach Lechum." Bechol Tzor Kula, whenever Ravina, Ravina Ravach argue, Ravina is always the Kula, Ravach is the Chum. Ravina is like Ravina is the Kula. Ravach is always like Ravina the Kula. The Bar Me Hani Plus. The Rabacha, except for uh, except for these three that we're talking about, is the Rabacha is the Kula of Ravina Lachum, and over here Hilchas is the Rabacha the Kula. Okay, what's the, what? So the, now the Gemara is going to explain the case. Umta the Asmi, if you have Umta that got red, that was it was very red raw meat. It means there was a lot of blood that burst it, that burst out of the vessels in that piece of meat. Um, Chatcha Umolcha. <laughs> if you cut it, <laughs> amen, and you salt it, then I feel like there are nami shabbat. Even you can even cook it. As if you if you do malicha, you get rid of the blood, then it's fine. Talia nami b'shipuda. If you hang it on a skewer, right, and roast it, so that's also fine um, because daiv dama. 
the, the blood, like usually when you roast it, right, it'll drip, it'll drip out. Agumri um, pligiba. But if, if the question is, could you put it on coals? Right, so it's not mamish roasting because it's laying on something, so it's not fully exposed, you know, for everything to, to drip. It actually is on the coals, and usually in a regular piece of meat, we do say it's fine, but over here, since this is very bloody, the shaila is, is a good one. He says, no, still, um, the, the, the coals, the hot coals, suck out the blood, draw out the blood. It, uh, it, it congeals it up, it, it makes it stay there. Okay, so that's the machlag. The same thing with the shaila, with, with, the, with, uh, with the, the testicles, which have a lot of blood, and and the misriki, the blood vessels in the neck that hold a lot of blood. Also, the question is, is whether gumri you could do so. The more says, Allah has the kula. Reisha the kivsa. Um, if you have the head, again, Rashi says, oh, well, kivsa, kivsa means when you when you hide it. When you, uh, basically, what they used to do is when you used to want, you want to remove the hair from the head, they would stick it in coals. So the coals would burn off the hair. Right, the problem is that it roasts it also. When it's there, it roasts it. So the question is, um, we said that there's blood in the brain, right? There, there's a, the membranes on the brain have blood and it's a problem. So um, if you just let it roast in the coals, it's going to cook in the blood and it's gonna, you're, not, you're not going to be able to remove it or it's going to be stuck in there. You're going to have to get it out somehow, right? Um, so it says the more like this. If you have the ratio of the kivsa that's, that's like kavush, I guess. I don't know what the word kivsha is. Rashi says it means hatmona. You hit it. It's buried in the coals, right? So oisvei beis hashchita. If you put it on, if you lay it down on the coals with the beis hashchita, and you place the neck on the coals, facing down, right? The, the neck on the coals. So then daiv dama. Then yeah, the blood will drip down and it will be fine. But sorry, it's okay. It's mutter. It's done. But if you leave it, the head on its side, so then mikvah coffee would actually the blood would congeal. The aser oisvei nechira. If you put it on its on its uh, nostrils. Then, um, then if that's be shari, if you stick something in the nostrils to make sure the nostrils stay open, to make sure that it can drip out, um, so then it, it's not v'iloy, it's aser. Ikadarmi, some say no. Anechirei v'abeis hashchita daiv. If if you leave it on the nose, uh, on the on the nose, on the nostrils, or on the on the beis hashchita, then and it drips, then it will drip and it's fine. But at zdodim, if you leave it on the side, so then e dots be midi shari. You can, if you want to puncture it with something, right, and make a hole over there, then the blood will come out. The um, eloi, but if you don't, then it's going to be awesome. Okay. Omer Yudam or Shmuel Shnei Gidim. There are two Gidim, right? We talked about this already. That there's two Gidim. Back to the Gidim Nashim, right? So, right. Pnimi is Samuch Laetzem is Aser. The Pnimi is going to be Aser, and that's called Samuch Laetzem. V'chayov in Olav. Um, it's next to the bone and you chayav on it. Chitzayin is samuch l'basar. It's more close to the more to the flesh. Also, ve'ein chayav in olav. Now the Gemara is going to ask a stira to the description that it says there. Vatanya says the Gemara. Vatanya pnimi is samuch l'basar. Right. The pnimi is for sure the one that's also. In the previous price, uh, there's a description to say that it's samuch la'etzem. Over here, it's saying the pnimi is samuch l'basar. Amar vach meravkana ikude miklad. You're right. It, it starts off samuch la'etzem, but then it goes through the. Um, it goes. It goes. Eventually, it goes into the basar. Right. So really, it's both. It's it, it's it's close to the etzem. It's close to the basar. But okay. Um, so the Gemara had just said that the pnimi some uh, the, the pnimi is sometimes called samuch la'basar, sometimes called samuch la'etzem, and the chitzah is sometimes also called both. Um, the word, the, just the last line, it sounds like that's where the that's where the tabochim cut it, right? But Avada, even though before we described it as some basar, where the tabochim actually cut it, over there it's next to the bone. Okay. If you found after a tabach um, supposedly trebered the, the meat, right, and he uh, and he took off all the fat, after that you found fat. So, if you find the amount of a barley, so then you already penalize him. No, you have to find um, an olive's worth. Amar of Papa, but the first says no, but there's no machlek. It's kam al koisa, we kam al To be malkehim, meaning to give him lashes, whatever, that's that's if he has a kisaira, we do that. But if we find a kazayas, then and lashes is not enough. We we have to we just get rid of him. Yeah, he's machshul. I guess he's machshul people. 
He's not doing his job well. I mean, I mean, if he, if he, if we even find an owl's worth, then we we fire him. We say you can't, you can't, you, no one trusts you. Okay, I'm going to switch up. echad. Um, if you find a soir b'makom echod, right, then you're malkin. Kazayis, if you find a kazayis, even if, if it's a field of base of gilgum kamis, even if it's in a few places and it's all mitzvah to kazayis, it's still a problem. So much that, that uh, it's a big mistake. The hilchas on Allah is la alkoitzer b'kazayis la avra b'kasayra. Oh, but here it sounds like the opposite. It sounds like la alkoitzer is worse, right? There's a bit, if you find a soir is worth, okay, so then you. Um, you fire him. If you, fi- if you find an olive's worth, of course, you for sure fire him, and you even mock him. Okay. Eina Tabachim Ne'emonin says the Rabbi 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 Yechon Chazur Lemer Ne'emonin. Right, the, the Mishnah said that um, this is uh, it's the first Mishnah of the Perek. Eina Tabachim Ne'emonin on that he that took off the Gita Nash. That's... Right, so it sounds like as to whether you 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 believe the butchers whether they took out the gita nasha or not. How would you? You have to do it yourself. No, you have to check. You have to make sure that you did it. Right. So Amrav Chayyim Barav Amrav Yechon Chazu Lemer Ne'amanim. After after we said Ein Ne'amanim. Then we, and I guess we held it in him, right? And then, and then we said, no, no, no. Now you could trust them. So I'm Rav Nachman. Actually, Dari, could it be? Could it be that generations got better, got more kosher? We usually uh, don't have such things, right? And so and where it says, Mi Karo Dabe Stav Lik Rav Meir. No, originally we talked about like Rav Meir, Rav Meir who holds that Gidan um, is very hard to, to get out because he holds it's not just the surface where right? we saw this yesterday's stuff. You have to actually root it out. From, from what's embedded in the, in the meat. Um, and therefore, it was very hard, and therefore we didn't believe them. We, we didn't trust them, you had to actually check it. Um, but later on, we started holding like Yehuda. We passed like Yehuda, and therefore, it's it's more, it was easier, it's an easier thing to do, and therefore we do believe them on it. Ike demasna la seifa, some are masna on the seifa of the Mishnah that say, chacham armin emanim alav alachelev, chacham say we do, we do believe them, that's the chacham shita, so amra b'chiyah bar abar b'yechran, chazu loimer ein in emanim. He says, even though we held like the chachamim, after that we stopped, we stopped believing them. Amra b'nachman, and then b'nachman says, b'zman azen emanim. Even though Rabbi b'yechran said, ein in emanim, b'nachman says that today, Yes, Naaman. Says the Gemara, why, why did Rav Nachman, why was he make him more than Rav Yechon? Why did we believe him? Achshur Dari. Says the Gemara, no. Meikar of Ruk Kirat Kirab Yehuda. Originally, in the Mishnah, we held like Yehuda, and therefore, it was fine. Inside the Mishnah, we held like a Chacham. Because at that point, they held like Rav Yehuda. Then Hadras of Ruk Kirav Meir, but then later on, we held like, like Rav Meir, that it's much harder to take at the Gita Nasha. And therefore, Kama da Havu Dechiri, and therefore, um, sorry, and therefore, Rav Yechon said, Ein Naaman. And then, then when Rav Nachman says that they are Naimanim, it's because Kamadav Dechiri Le the Rabbi Yehuda Le Mehemni. And the reason why Rabbi Yechanan said that um, that you can't trust them is not because Rav Meir is hard to do. Avadi you could trust them. The, the problem is, is people remember the way of treasuring like Rabbi Yehuda, and therefore they weren't being mocked by like Rav Meir because it still is in their memory uh, to, to to do the more make away. And therefore Rabbi Yechanan said um, everyone has to be mocked. You can't trust the butchers. But then later on, by the time Rabbi Nachman's time came around, everyone already knew Rabbi Yehuda's shita, and it was already instilled in everybody that, that you have to do more the, uh, Rabbi Meir's shita. It was more it was more instilled, and therefore everyone knew uh, the more machmer way, and therefore you could trust them. So it's not a question of it wasn't a question of whether um, they were trusted to do Rabbi Meir's because Rabbi Meir is so hard. No, it's a question of whether everyone still was rugged to do Rabbi Yehuda's, and then and then when they passed like Rabbi Meir, it's a problem. Um, and therefore, it took time until that was set in place. The hashta dan shiul Rabbi Yehuda, but now that everyone already forgot Rabbi Yehuda's shita, because we passed him like Rabbi Meir for so many years, so therefore, Mehemni they are believing. Vala chelav says the Gemara chelav man dechashmei. There's the Chachamim said they manim all of vala chelav. Says the Gemara man dechashmei. We never talked about chelav before. Rabbi Meir said ein ein manim alagid. Then Chachamim say alagid vala chelav. Why are you mentioning chelav? Says the Gemara in Chanami yachik kamer ein manim all of vala chelav. You have to you have to you add in to the. So the mayor's sheet that they ain't nemanim alachelim, and therefore, therefore makes sense. The chachamim are contrasting nemanim alav alachelim. You are nemanim on the on the alachelim. Okay, ad kan chulin tzad gimel. We'll see you tomorrow. Agresus shkoyach.